man what is going on folks yeah i've got my hair up again because um it's long and uh sometimes it's in the way and i uh, just sneezed so i'll be right back box of tissues there it is anywho we're back oh man check that bad boy out we are doing it today um it's probably about it is i can't really see it's 12 45 ish let's walk out here real quick and we'll talk about what we're doing i have not pressure washed or anything like that i haven't washed the truck up to do anything with the paint really doesn't look too bad like in the sun right now Maybe it's these glasses. I don't know. I told the wife we ran up to town real quick because I'm out of Miller Lite. That's why I got this big PBR. And um, I told her what might paint that stuff up just to sex it up a little bit. The sun is super bright. But uh, jumped under here real quick because I wanted to poke around and see what was going on. And uh, tighten this guy up because he was loose. His That bolt was like right out to there. Now, if you're close enough, you probably can't tell the color, the discoloration from that. Put a little bit of lube on that, cranked it right in. Um, just put nosing around, see if there's any leaks or anything like that, and there isn't, so it's okay. But when I was jacking this thing up, this guy was leaking on me, and I think it used to do that before, but it holds pressure good, which is fine. But I do have another pump sitting in the garage if I, if I need it for that, so that is okay. You know, just kind of checking around because this thing only got ran a little bit after uh, the radiator was swapped out and stuff. So just looking at some of the older hoses and things like that and checking on different sizes and what I might need, what I don't need, what I could need. You know, things like that in the future possibilities. But um, I was just on YouTube checking out uh, when we can walk over there. This thing really doesn't look too bad besides that and i figured i'll leave it up for now because i was debating on swapping out that fuel filter now the thing seems to pull okay i mean run fine it runs fine it starts up fires up no problem whatsoever but remember i did this i was just checking on youtube i did this um november of 2021 and then i ran the truck for a little bit uh, I'm not sure exactly how many miles. I believe that's when I changed the oil to. I can't exactly remember. I'll have to go back and watch or check the date on the video from when I actually changed the oil. But um, my only thing is, like, I, I don't feel like it's getting any hesitation with the filter or anything like that or it's clogged up because there is a, this is a water separator system. So that filter is just going to have some you know shit up in there but it's going to have shit up in there regardless because it's diesel fuel the quality of fuel sucks it's one of those situations but i did put this section in here thank god then i lubed those up because they were looking a little rough so i just threw some lube on those real quick so i can just plop this out right here and pull that and change it obviously this will be moved i can just pull that section right there real quick i can do this like within 15 minutes if i needed to i just have to get under here now unfortunately i snapped off the um the little screw bobber where it spits all the stuff so i'd have to crank this thing and it just makes a big old whoosh mess usually like so that's one situation but i do have um i've got some lucas jugs and some diesel back here in my little section so i've got plenty of diesel to fill that back up and i've got a you know thing for everything that i need to make a mess or not make a mess and i've got a a couple jugs to where i could you know dump the stuff in i just debating on whether ch i i really need to change it or not because i honestly don't feel like i really need to do it but you know, I don't know how long those paper gaskets can go before they start to break down and stuff. So that's um, one of them situations where do I do that and then wash the truck afterwards because I could spray the whole thing down because it kindly needs it. 
but I'm um, really satisfied with um, the way that looks with those stickers off. And I should I should probably peel this one off. And I, these things, this thing is like so hard it's not even funny. And I need to figure out what I can use to um, get that rubber and that uh, stuff off the other side, because that is um, that's insane. You know, you can just hear that thing sticking to it. And you can see that it's just, ugh, ugh. So yeah, that's what I'm kicking around and debating. And unfortunately, peeled off some, um, yeah, some of that right there. Peeled some of that off right there from, I used some some of that um, cleaner on it, some of that spray cleaner in it. That stuff just freaking peeled that red, white right off, which it's fine because it's still out there. But uh, if I was to swap those around, I could anytime I wanted to. But, you know, I was just kind of nosing around and looking at stuff and seeing what was going on and those type of situations. You know, just being nosy under here. I mean, I think it's fine, though, to be honest with you. I don't, um, I don't know. I'll probably change it just for, you know, the mental aspect of doing it, even though I don't really personally feel like I need to, but other dudes are going to come on here and throw fit. So it's what it is. But if I get into it, I'll, um, I'll bring it back and we'll do it together. I probably will get some tools out, big chachi, and you know, I just do these by hand pretty much usually, but those I'll probably, I might be able to stick big chachi on, bam, 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 just bop those off because that's a different one. But if I need to, I don't think I've got any brand new ones. I've got some stuff over here because I always thought there's that flex tube in there, okay? And I've got some flex tube here, an old chunk here. Uh, somewhat newer here, a new one here. I've got that coupler here. I've got a bunch of these old, um, if I need them right here. And then I've got this nice big piece of five inch, you know, straight piece. That way, if I wanted to, I could replace that section because I thought about replacing it, but I must have slipped my mind that I had this here, you know what I mean? Because I, I always had to move this section up and then I had to take this off, loosen this up, move it out the way. And, you know, after a while, this stuff, as nice as it is, it just kind of forms and rusts together. Um, so there's no way this elbow is ever leaving this stack and or it's getting ever turned any other way, if you know what I mean. And that's pretty shiny for now, but uh, it's what it is, so... That's, um, what's going on today? I feel bad because I took those stickers off because they were cool. But, uh, people judge me because of that. Isn't that weird that people judge me because of a sticker on my chalk? That was like, um, one of the weirdest things that I could ever remember. Maybe I'll do this with just a time lapse or something. Maybe I'll do it where I talk the whole time. It wrote, like I said, it really shouldn't take too long. I'll just hook you up somewhere to where you can see me getting in there and doing what I got to do. That way um, I'm not all sitting there fumbling around and stuff. And I do have, um, I got another cap out here. I just took this off, to be honest with you, a little bit ago because it's there's a mark that starts to bug me on the forehead and I'm getting a bald spot right there. So I just uh, took it off. But I do have this one too I could always throw on if I wanted to. And my buddy sent me. He sent me that. He sent me, um, and then I got a couple other ones up here too. Ooh. Lucky Rooster Whiskey JP bought me when we were down in Arkansas working on that Marla truck. Trying to get her going. Remember that? Because I do. That was a good time. Anyways, I'm sure somebody's bitching at the can their TV. Let's talk more work. Oh, man. What's going on? A little bit of outfit change and stuff like that. And I figured I'd pop this bad boy on. Because even though it's a Velcro back, someone did buy this for me and sent this to me. So I'm going to sport it because... 
I feel like it's the right thing to do when I'm working on the old KW. And, um, you know, I figure the sun's going to be out here and there. That way I don't burn my bald spots and stuff like that. So let's get this thing undone real quick. And I'll be plopping you all over the place because right now I got to take this air cleaner off, which I told you the air cleaner too. So I'm going to undo these real fast. And then I'll be able to pull this thing off. And you're going to end up being moved around probably two or three different places if you know what i mean because i just don't think you can get everything from where you're at so let's see if we can oh yeah plop this thing come on baby oh yeah come on baby light my fire got him and uh should probably go through and clean some of that up because we don't like any of that anywhere on our stuff so we might do that just All right, well, this is where we're at. Looks like it could rain, but I don't think it's going to. Basically got this torn apart. Um, I try to take a flathead and bang that back, but obviously you can see from the size right here on this, this guy right here, the amount of, and I'll bring you down so you can actually see how much that was around there, but I ended up loosening the stack up and pulling it back and it unhooked, and then I cleaned everything up. That way, when I do pull this, I don't drop anything on there from that filter. It doesn't go down in there already because that's not what we want. So I'm going to get under here real quick. And I did clean this up, um, the rust and stuff that was in there, the particles. I cleaned up the best I could at least with um, some water and shit. You know what I mean? So I'm going to get under here and I might maybe bring you down. I don't know. The wind is starting to pick up. So this could be messy. But uh, yeah, let's get you down here real, real quick because this is only going to take me five minutes once I do this. And I honestly could do this um, sitting in a truck stock parking lot someday if I ever needed to. You know what I mean? Like I got time because I got to reset and blah, 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 this and that because I didn't make it home or I'm doing some job to where that's what I got to do. I, could, I would totally do this. I'd spend my day as long as I would always have the stuff on me, first of all. I would spend my day in a truck stop parking lot teaching some buffoon uh, that doesn't know anything about anything how to do this kind of stuff. Let's start cranking this guy out. That's an inch and an eighth wrench here. That's tightening. Let's loosen it up. What I'm going to do is I'll probably just loosen it up to where it'll start flowing out. And then um, I don't think I'm going to because I may be able to pull this thing completely and then there may be, um, you know, once it starts, well, here comes the wind starting to pick up. Okay, so we ain't getting nothing. Okay, now we're getting some drainage. Looks clear, like there's nothing. Okay, there we go. Now we're glooping down in there. Wow, I'll be shocked if this thing is freaking clean and there ain't nothing in here. Oh, that's just too fast for it. Just too fast. I'll keep this up here. That way, if I need to um, plug it up, I can. It's about a gallon. Okay. There you go. Let's just keep that out there. That way, we're not making... You know, we honestly did a really good job here by not making that much of a mess. Now, I, I, like I said, I broke that little tip off, and God, if I could get that little tip thing back, I would, but I don't know. This is just, um, looks like this is like a plastic piece right here. It's got your little gasket around there. Well, that's just probably whatever's left on the filter. That does look dark, but this stuff always looks a little discolored because of, um, the bottles of this stuff that I use and get that top opened up that's probably just whatever's draining off left of the filter I could probably close this up right now I'll close this up because it's it's okay if there's a little bit in there it's really not that big of a deal like I don't necessarily need to drain everything out I'll pull this filter and check it real quick and then we'll see if there's anything else that may be down there that at once we pull the filter because usually we can see some garbage so give me a second here to um i don't have any paper towels or anything like that out here and i'm 
completely covered with these. So anyways, I switched you over, and um, unfortunately, you can't see. Okay, maybe you can right here where my hand is. Nope, that's in the way. Uh, it's just what it is, folks. Okay, I got the top off here. That actually looks, that rubber looks okay, so I don't know if we'll have to um, swap it out or not, but there's the top. Let's see how nasty this thing looks. It's nice that it has... Um, the old handles this thing ain't even gross okay maybe it's a little gross it's not too bad i've honestly seen worse i could have kept running this um this isn't horrible at all so yeah i could have completely left this thing in it's really not bad period but i will change it because i do have the new one and then i'm going to undo the rest of that and drain the rest of it out so I'm basically going to turn you off real quick and go run and take this out to my burn pile because I don't need this uh, leaking diesel fuel all over the place in here and that's yeah, not even that bad so that's nice that's nice to see that is what's up but at least it's getting a new one so that's peace of mind right so like I just drained the rest of the water or the the fuel out that was at the bottom and to be honest with you there was barely any fuel at the bottom of that um, situation so we do have a new filter here we're going to throw in that way it's at least done like i said it's the whole peace of mind situation i just got you to pull out so i don't know why you won't freaking go down on there just a little bit we are good twist and pull is what that says to get that out so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace the seals like I always do this comes with two seals one for the top and one for the bottom you know for a peace of mind it's taken care of and done and we don't have anything to worry about but yeah that seal looks completely fine there but we will put the new one on so at least it's taken care of and it's got a new one we still need to um, plop some diesel down in there. And I was just looking in the jug, and it looks like that diesel is completely fine, except for, um, swap these out real quick. Some at the bottom, there's a little bit of water in there. There's not a ton, and it wasn't too black, too many particles or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is, since there's about this much, this is not diesel, this is the Lucas um, fuel injector cleaner right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump about half of this in there to start with, and then I'll dump the rest of that diesel fuel into um, that from what was in here. That way it's taken care of. I'm actually gonna pour it in like this from where I'm at. but I used to tank around with in uh, the green chalk. That way if anything ever happened and I ever needed to pull that filter or anything. Always had something, I hear knocking somewhere. Let's tighten this thing up. Just screw it basically on the top. It's really simple. And then make sure she's tight. That's all she wrote. No air getting in there anywhere or anything like that. So that's what's up. That's taken care of. Now I can basically shove this back down how it was. Get this to go back in just like that. And then that'll go, that's all the way over. Basically all I need to do now is stretch this stuff right here. I need to just stretch this right here to where it covers this amount, which it ain't gonna be no problem. I'm just gonna take the screwdriver and just peel this off, all this stuff that's down here, because that's basically what I did before. It'll come to here. I'll put the clamps, I'll goop them up, I'll put the clamps back on. Blah of bling, blah of bloom. Basically just tapping this thing right along. And it's just plopping over just like I wanted it to. Sometimes I go over to different sides it's just stretching it out because basically what I did was I, I tapped it back to where it would um 
back where it would go back to where it was you know it tightened itself back up so i'm just going along and whacking all the spots to where it'll stretch back out to where it was before and it's actually where it was at and maybe a little better now if i wanted to i could um tap this side over here to see if it um pulled away which i don't think it did yeah it's it's fine it's exactly where it needs to be so now i can just goop it up some more and um slap the things because that's exactly what i'm going to need to do i'm going to th throw some more goop on here and then yeah it'll be fine that wasn't as bad and it's starting to rain so i'm going to take you inside i'm going to finish up what i need to right here and then i'll bring you back whenever this um april showers brings me flowers is gone away you're tinkling 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 wrong i need to go get another beer because i did tip that one over so with some big raindrops close up the thing so i don't get my cars wet either so then we will see ya. Well, that April shower is pretty much over, and I'm gonna do a quick um, I'm gonna do a quick plug for these guys right here. This JB Hunt Weld uh, muffler seal resist temperature up to 700 dollars fully cured. Iron reinforcement used by OEM's world's strongest bond. This stuff is the shit. Okay, that's on there. That's on there. That's on there. These are somewhat loose here and there. Put a little bit of this on there throw those clamp laters on there i had no problems whatsoever when i put this stuff on um when i first did this i had the leaks and i went in i already had this stuff because i bought it for when i was doing a muffler on uh the kids boyfriends and i had bought this crap for some jacked up uh situation that i did for him and i slapped this stuff on there and it took away all the leaks that I had. So, I, I mean, I just lubed it up pretty much. And I had run inside and grabbed another beer since I, you know, one fell off, unfortunately. And it's just one of situations that happens when you're doing stuff. But, um, uh, yeah, so I'm going to tack that back together. And then um, I, I'm going to check the oil because I still haven't done that. I'm going to check it. Mm, smell it taste it see how i feel about it and then i'm gonna wash this thing because it needs wash and I, whether it's still raining hit or miss you know what i mean the wind has picked up so i'll probably do that either on time lapse or off because it's just what it is but yeah basically all i have to do is put those three things on there and that's taken care of and i i really feel like a doofus because i wasted time and money doing that but at least it's done and I shouldn't have to worry about that for a while. I could write down either the date, but this will go up on YouTube here in a few days or whenever. So I'll know that it's on and off because that thing's not gonna be turning and burning anytime soon, but it's just something that needs to be done in case something's gonna happen, if you know what I mean. Just took a big old swig of Miller Lite. So I've got this out right now did all i needed to do after i shot my promo for that um jb weld blase splat got those all tightened down nice and nice and nice and um i pulled that out i didn't like the way that looked there's a bunch of rust and stuff down there so i took the liberty to take um the grinding wheel on the drill and i cleaned everything up and then i just coated that a little bit with some rust oleum and i even went through with these guys right here and i took the um god what is that the tap and die set and i cleaned all these up that way they're straight because these guys right here are just little plastic things and they only um want a max of eight foot pound labels blase splat so you basically want to be able to turn them on with your hand well i couldn't turn them off with my hand so i cleaned those all those up and yes a few of them got a little bit of paint on them obviously you know i painted up here the black because that was um yellowish and uh starting to rust and i'll tell you a story real quick when i first got this truck back from virginia when i bought it 
that was brand new sitting in the back of the bunk on top of that nasty old bed and I pulled that one out and it basically fell apart and like half of it was stuck and rusted to the bottom and I thought oh M G when I first did that now I wasn't doing YouTube so it's not like anybody could see that stuff to even realize how bad that actually was but it was horrible man so I cleaned that out I put that new one in and I just took that over there and I just cleaned that stuff up just to clean it up and I've taken that out before and gave it a little spritz and spray but it wasn't too bad so it's fine but if anybody ever needs one here's the Baldwin micro filter PA2312 that's PA2312 Baldwin micro light for this square one right here to go in here for this size for this age of a truck so i'm going to clamp i'm going to put that on i was just kind of letting this stuff dry up a little bit because obviously you can see on this seal here where this stuff's at you know how it was stuck to it and whatnot and this probably is nice and new and comes with one of the things but that's painted black so it's okay but it's dirty so it's just what it is and i also took the liberty to um clean this guy up right here clean that up around the edges and if i wanted to i could really shine that thing up but nobody really sees it right here so i'm not really worried about it and i even went in there with a screwdriver and kind of cleaned up on there so if anything happens nothing's getting too frisky up there i still need to clean that diesel off this section which i'm going to get to it one of these days but i was over here messing around and you're probably gonna think man what a hill jack okay this used to take like um one of those plug and play things right in here. And the thing had ended up breaking on me. So I ended up throwing this um, Allen wrench in here because it's just what I had on me at the time. And I zip tied it to where it wouldn't go anywhere. Now this thing, I can move this right here. And you see all the slop in that right there. It's not moving this the way it needs to for me to be able to put that in reverse. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to pull this out. I'm probably going to pull this whole linkage rod off because that's just that bolt right there. And what I'll do is I'll mark it with a marker to where I know exactly where it needs to go when I put it back in. But that's all okay down there. That, um, I don't know, clevis, what is that? Not a U-joint. God, what is that called? Man, I just went blank there. Anyways, this thing right here, whatever this guy is, I'm, I'm, a, I'm at a blank. I'm sure somebody knows exactly what it is and what I'm talking about. This guy right here um, is, is must be loose in there. So I need to see what's going on with that and uh, or get something else. Because I, I was honestly just going to get a pin. It was just a pin that went in there. So I ended up throwing that in there and I just... You know zip tied this up quick because that's the kind of guy i am i'm just trying to make things work on the fly because i was actually at a stop sign when that happened and i couldn't get it to go into gear because it wouldn't it wouldn't go past like second gear or something so i end up throwing that thing in there and it just worked so i just left it in there but that's what's going on right now that's why that thing won't flip into reverse like i want it to when i'm banging over and um you see all that slop right there because i was moving this around and i was trying to look around then i was doing that and i found that that was way before i did any of this stuff i'd found that before i had changed that fuel filter which i didn't even need to change but it's what it is i guess peace of mind and you know i'm such negations but so I'm going to throw that back in. I was just kind of letting this dry up because I don't want this to be sticky or anything. And if I need to, I'll pull that tap and die. I don't want this to be sticky when I go to put that on because that's like a seal. So I may even get something and put something on there to where it'll slipping it up. Maybe some powder. If I had some baby powder or something like that, I'd throw some powder on there. That way it wouldn't stick because I really don't want that sticking. But I don't have 24 hours to leave that out. You know what I mean? But I can mess around with that um, right now off camera and kind of try to MacGyver something or see what's going on with it at least. And then keep tinkering around before I end up throwing that back down there. I would like to wash this thing today to get that diesel fuel off, you know what I mean? But I guess if it has to wait until tomorrow, it's just diesel fuel and it ain't going to kill nobody. I would rather do it right than do it wrong. Yolk 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 i got this out uh i even got this thing apart and 
this is actually smaller than what this hole is right here and this hole is right here and you can see that it was flopping around so it was kind of causing some problems so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean this out i'm going to figure out what size this actually needs and i'm going to throw something in there whether it be a um bolt nut and bolt or some kind of situation i if i don't have like a lock washer on the back and and lock nut for the bolt I, I definitely don't really want to go that route but it's something i might do i don't know it's just you know i've got a lot of crap around here so i can figure something out because that's just what you have to do with these old trucks because you know you just can't call up a mechanic and expect them to have things for something that's 40 years old so occasionally you got to fix things on the fly and you got to use that redneck ingenuity, if you will. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean that up and then I'm going to slap something else in there and I'll, I'll show you my progress when I'm getting done. And I'll, I'll see, we'll see how that shifter moves around and rock and roll. You know, mine? Well, looks like you're about out of uh, storage and I may be getting a little bit of dirt on my face. Here's that Miller light being empty. It's about five o'clock, maybe 450-ish. Um, that's all put back together right here. Did that max torque, bam, bam, eight, bam. Look at that, bam, eight, bam. Anywho, let's get onto this. Found this nut bolt situation and uh, that's a lock nut on there. That bolt was something that I used to cut off for something else. I can't remember, but it was close enough. Now, this guy on the top, uh, it wasn't going down all the way. It's like it was rusted up in there. So I took that tap and dice out again, and I went and I, I tightened up the Jesus. I, I cleaned that out. I tapped that out to where I could tighten that down all the way. So that thing has no period. You know what I mean? That thing moves. It's moving over. So, on a bam, that, that right there is going to put that bad boy in reverse when you hear that bam. Hear that? Bam. That's going to put that into reverse. I've already dry shifted this into all the gears because um, this thing is 40 years old and you can do that without having it run in or anything. And somebody's probably saying, oh, it's going to hold it. Guess what, man? This thing's been beat the f already by me and like six other dudes. And who knows who, how, however many before that. Because when I bought this truck, one of the mechanics was like, yeah, my dad used to drive this truck. I drove this truck. My dad drove this truck. And he gave me a list of like three or four other dudes that drove the truck. And that was it that drove the truck. As long as um, the place in Virginia owned it until I bought it. And um, since I've owned it, nobody's drove this truck but me. The mechanic drove Frank one time when uh, the transmission situation was going on. Now, obviously, the wind's picked back up, but um, yeah, that should be good for that. We're going to run with that and try it. I'm going to probably drop the cab now and finally get to washing it, so Ugh, it's what it is, man. Kicking it here on a Chad Keegan YouTube channel, Trucking Edition Spectacular. Even though we're not trucking, we're just working on old trucks working on some old junk man no man <laughs> my arm it's probably like 80 some degrees out now 
Oh yeah, that's way better. That's gonna go worse the first time. So much better. Yeah, the throttle was, that throttle arm linkage was stuck, but it fired right up. So that's cool. I closed the airline. Bam. So yeah, that was nice that it fired right up. Just like that, you know, I'll let it run, let the air build and stuff like that. I closed that air over there, so it should be good. Um, I just wanted to run it so I could build that air back up because, God, look at that door. Look at that door. I was freaking trying to smash my foot. That wind is just so much. So I don't know. It may be a wash on the wash because the wind is so bad. I just wanted to get that stuff up. I sprayed that, um, deep greaser on there and that stuff was horrible it was coming back and getting on my skin and stuff like that so i may need to go in and take a shower and uh put this on hold the worst but at least i got the fuel filter changed i got this take care of the shifter you know what i mean bam chicka bam bam chicka bam bam taken care of and then um so that's stellar let the air lift back up and then we'll go on from there the fuel filters change so that's good now the radio is still not working mew unmew mew unmew completely disappointed let's get on smell the exhaust though because it smells good and that door is just like slamming on me every time i try to get down and stuff shut all this off Playing hokey pokey. Um, 
you know, when I was doing that before because of the situation that was going on. So now that the bags are full on the back and uh, I've moved it back and forth or to and fro, if you will, I can shut it down or just be done for the day because it's super windy. I mean, like, I could honestly, I don't have to wash it, wash it with water if I don't want to. I've got some like spray cleaner I could just spray on it and spritz on it and then just wipe her down with a towel and go to the waxing. But it is kind of getting late and I'm sure my wife's kind of getting hungry and wants to hang out with me because I've been out here all pretty much all day. So I've been, I'm not going to say neglecting her, but it's what it is. You know what I mean? When you're out here working on old trucks, it's just one of those things that happens. So yeah, now I just, I just wish it wouldn't go over that much so far, but there's so many yokes in that whole situation. Let's just kill it. Let's rub it up one time for you. So what? But um, there's so many yokes in that whole situation with that shifter. There's one, two, three, four, and it's just Oh, man, there's a lot of stuff that could be, you know what I mean, loose and sloppy in these. And it's just, I, I guess it's not a poor design, but it's just what it is. You know what I mean? For being 40 years old, you just got to deal with it and um, do what you got to do to make sure that it's good enough for you when you need to run it and make the money. On the show, on the chat team. 